education you're about to embark on, and I hope you choose to, is really an investment. Yes, I use a word that's going to give you pause. It is expected to be an investment of your time, an investment of your resources, and an investment of real money. I will put this disclaimer in now. I do not have a way to give you free school. If that is your expectation, not only is it unrealistic, it's impractical and it's unlikely. What I'm here to do is show you a pathway to minimize that investment if you qualify to do so. But there will always be an investment in anything that has a payoff. But you are investing in the best possible stock. That company called Kingsford Incorporated. That company called Tapia Incorporated. Elvis Incorporated. Isaac Limited. You know, Solomon and company. That's who you're investing in. The most important resource you have is yourself. And if you are not willing to invest in you, if you don't have that belief to invest in you, you can't expect a school to invest in you either. Because the payoff is unlikely for the school, but the payoff is guaranteed for you. When you complete that degree, as my friend Ayobami Tinu just did, and go to Microsoft and get 150000 just two years and two months after he was sitting in Abuja making $300 a month, two years and two months later, he is at Microsoft making $150,000 a year with his master's in computer science. That's a success story. It's not typical. It's not the given, but it's a little above normal. But for all those who are making sixty or $65,000 having graduated with public health degrees, having graduated with their data science degrees, they are seeing a pathway to a better life. Let me tell you one other thing. Don't believe for a minute that the United States government wants you to come to the U.S., get a useful degree like a STEM degree, and turn around and go back to Ghana. Don't believe that for one minute. Absolutely not true. If the U.S. wanted you to leave, the U.S. would not put OPT in place. The U.S. would not put STEM OPT, an extended two years of work permit for those with STEM degrees. The U.S. would not put the H-1B in place, which gets you six more years. The U.S. would not be liberally, and that case for that whole life for yours, liberally, approving the NIW visas right now to give you the opportunity to remain in the U.S. permanently. The U.S. would not give you a pathway to a green card and citizenship. There is a clear pathway from F1 status to blue passport. Clear pathway. Six, seven, eight years it might take, surely. But the U.S. government recognizes that it too has invested in your education because your education will be supplemented by government money. And the U.S. wants its payoff by having you contribute to the economic growth and power of the, the richest country on the planet. Understand that. So when you get to the embassy, you are still required to have a pathway to return home. But I'm telling you, if they determine that you're going to complete a computer science or an engineering or whatever degree that's useful and remain in the U.S., that will not cost you a visa. The belief that you will complete it, that you will do the right thing, that you have the means, the academic wherewithal, the financial means and the frame of mind to do the right thing. And you invest just two years or even as little as 21 months of your life into getting that credential, your path to betterment is paid.